Welcome to Incredible Survival Stories. Today, we delve into the extraordinary. We explore tales of human resilience, where individuals defy the odds and survive against all odds. From the vast oceans to unforgiving wilderness, we'll uncover the science behind survival and the extraordinary strength it takes to overcome extreme situations. Stephen Callahan, Adrift 76 Days in 1982, Stephen Callahan embarked on an incredible journey, sailing solo across the Atlantic Ocean aboard his self-designed sailboat, the Napoleon Solo. His adventure took a dramatic turn just a week into the voyage when a powerful storm battered his vessel, causing severe damage. As water flooded the hull, Callahan faced the terrifying prospect of his boat sinking. In a race against time, he made a daring escape into his inflatable life raft, salvaging only the most essential items from his sinking boat, a sleeping bag, a piece of sail for shelter, and an emergency kit containing food, water purification tablets, a solar still, a spear gun, and a survival guide. Alone on the vast expanse of the ocean, Callahan's journey became a battle for survival. He relied on his resourcefulness to endure with limited supplies and facing constant hunger and thirst under the scorching sun. Using the solar stills from his emergency kit, he converted seawater into drinkable water while his spear gun provided him with sustenance in the form of small fish. The psychological toll of isolation and the relentless conditions weighed heavily on Callahan. Despite the constant threat of sharks circling his raft and the need to patch up punctures and wear on his vessel, he persevered, documenting his struggles in a journal to maintain his sanity and sense of purpose. Days he turned into weeks and weeks into months, with Callahan's hopes of rescue dwindling. However, on the 76th day, a fishing boat spotted him on the horizon, ending his arduous ordeal. Emaciated and weakened by his experience, Callahan was rescued and spent weeks recuperating in a hospital. Callahan's remarkable story of survival serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. His book, Adrift, 76 Days Lost at Sea, provides a detailed account of his harrowing journey, offering valuable insights into the science of survival and the unwavering will to live. Despite his hardships, Callahan found solace in the beauty of the ocean and the wonders of marine life, leaving a lasting legacy of courage and perseverance. Aaron Ralston, trapped between a rock and a hard place. In April 2003, Aaron Ralston set off on what was supposed to be a thrilling solo hike through Utah's Blue John Canyon. A seasoned climber, Ralston was no stranger to adventure, but what began as a typical outing soon turned into a nightmare. While maneuvering through the narrow passageways of the canyon, disaster struck. Without warning, a massive boulder, weighing an estimated 800 pounds, shifted and pinned Ralston's right hand against the canyon wall. The situation was dire. Alone and with only scant supplies, a bit of water, a granola bar, and a dull pocket knife, Ralston found himself trapped 100 feet below the surface with no immediate help. Over the next five days, Ralston fought desperately for survival. He tried everything to free himself, attempting to move the boulder with his climbing gear or free his hand, but to no avail. As his meager supplies dwindled, he grappled with the harsh reality of his predicament. With each passing day, Ralston's situation grew more dire. Using a video camera, he documented his ordeal, leaving behind heartfelt messages to his loved ones, uncertain if he would ever see them again. As dehydration and despair threatened to overwhelm him, Ralston faced a gut-wrenching choice. With no other options, he made the agonizing decision to amputate his arm below the elbow using his dull knife. The process was excruciating, lasting hours, as Ralston painstakingly sawed through his bone. Exhausted but determined, he finally freed himself from the boulder's grasp, but his ordeal was far from over. Weakened, and with a makeshift tourniquet, Ralston embarked on a perilous journey to find help. He rappelled down cliffs and endured a grueling seven-mile hike through rugged terrain, his strength fading with each step. Driven by an unyielding will to survive, Ralston stumbled upon a family on vacation who provided him with water and food before summoning help. He was airlifted to safety, having endured a physical and mental trial unlike any other. After weeks of medical care and rehabilitation, Ralston emerged from his ordeal a changed man. Despite the trauma, he refused to let it define him. 
Learning to climb again, he conquered the canyon that had nearly claimed his life. Ralston's remarkable tale of survival has inspired countless individuals around the world. Through his book, Between a Rock and a Hard Place, and the acclaimed film 127 Hours, he has shared his resilience journey, reminding us of the extraordinary power of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Ralston's experience offers a profound insight into the indomitable strength of the human spirit. His story is a testament to the power of ingenuity, mental grit, and the unwavering will to live, even in the most desperate circumstances. For those seeking a deeper understanding of Ralston's remarkable journey, his book, the film 127 Hours, and documentaries about his experience provide invaluable insights into the triumph of the human spirit against all odds. These stories are a testament to the immense potential of the human spirit. While not everyone faces such extreme situations, the lessons learned from these survivors, resourcefulness, mental strength, and the will to never give up, are valuable in any challenging circumstance. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you ever faced a situation that demanded immense resilience? What did you learn from that experience?